How you doing guys and gals? This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hawk Custom Outdoors. I want to show a couple new knives for on this video. Brand new knives that just come on the market very recently. I'm also going to show you some Yellow Hawk Customs carry options. Believe it or not, I get a lot of questions on how to use a tech lock. How many styles of carry does this sheath have? Etc. 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 So in this video, we're going to cover all that. So if you stay tuned, we'll get right to it. Okay, so we got everybody and their mother having knives made nowadays because you got several builders out there, several companies who are easy to work with and are popular. They build excellent knives. Bark River, LT Wright, there's a few others. But Bark River and LT Wright are the, you know, staples that most guys contact if they want a knife made or if they want a brand knife you know what i mean a brand for like my channel like my uh delta whiskey infinity uh is going to be made by lt right so guys go to these companies and have knives made well nowadays this is there's no better time in history to buy a, a good knife so we got a couple of new knives actually three here i want to start with this one here this is the Sospes, S-O-S-P-E-S. -S um, I think it's Latin for unharmed or safe. So I guess if you have this knife, you're going to be safe. It's going to do everything you need to do in the outdoors. So I want to show my thing with knives is when I see them on camera, or somebody tells me about a knife, I want to see it up close. I want to see every angle of that knife. So that's what I'm going to show. Okay. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to show you every part of this knife so that you know what it looks like, how well it's built, etc., etc. All right, so the first thing I see on this is a 90 degree spine, 01 tool steel, 10 and 3 quarter inches overall with a 5 and 3 quarter inch cutting surface, I believe. Got a small Ricasso, matte green micarta scales, fisheye hardware, brass lanyard hole in the back, palm swell on the handle. I'm thinking the blade is probably at its widest point, an inch and a half or almost. Give you a real good look at the knife. The steel is 3 16 of an inch thick. 01 tool steel, I think I mentioned that. Very, very comfortable handle. Very comfortable handle. All right, take a real good look at it. Now it's got this modified drop point real, real slim here in the front, but the tip of the blade is not too thin. You can look at that chisel point that 3 16 of an inch is pretty thick. You're not breaking this knife. Not even with hard work. And there's Will Myers Mantis Outdoors logo. Will Myers is the one who designed this knife. I think, I think he did an incredible job. It's beautiful. And I wanted to show it to you guys. This knife actually belongs to a client, uh, Noah Robinson, I believe. 
Okay, that's the first one. All right. Number two. This one is. Let me sit down here. The Tops Bracamo. B R A K I M O. Tops Bracamo. Looks to me like five thirty seconds of an inch thick. Drop point blade. Got that chisel tip again. This tip's a little thinner. This is uh, more of a combat utility bushcraft style knife. It's got a Scandi grind. It does have a secondary edge bevel. Uh, looks like OD matte green scales with bow drill divots in the center here. And a gigantic lanyard hole at the back. It's got red liners. Pretty knife. Got like a stone washed finish on it. The blade's about five inches. Overall knife is about ten inches. Thumb scallops on the handles right here. Pretty knife. So this is the Tops Bracamo. I would be, I'd be willing to bet it's 1095 tool steel. I'm actually building a sheath for it right now. It's not finished. Um, this is actually um, Mike Cervini's knife. He sent me two of me. I also have a bush bat that I have to do for him, a JX4 bush bat. But uh, it's going to get a fire steel on the side, hawk light assembly. And a ferro rod on the front with a tabby dangler and a tech lock. Okay, so there's that one. Here's the next one. Now, this is a custom knife. This is a custom knife from Abyssal Wolf Forge Cody Roberts. I think he did an outstanding job on this knife. Yeah. It looks rustic. Absolutely. I think that's the look he's going for, though. It is very comfortable in the hand. Black micarta scales. Palm swell in the middle. You got shave outs for forefinger and, and pinky finger. It, it's just a, a well thought out handle. Um, kind of a common design in the knife industry, this handle with a palm swell in the middle and two finger choils. So uh, looks like an eighth inch thick 1095 tool steel with a Scandi Vex grind. And he left those hammer marks in there. That seems to be very popular nowadays, the hammer marks. Gives it that frontiersy, old timey, antiquey look. <clears throat> what I really like about this knife now th this is my design that I sent to Cody so that he could make this knife for me and well that's all I'm going to say about it my design he made it for me I think he did a great job but what I really like about this knife is the edge this thing came razor sharp and I'm telling you it feather sticks like a dream let me grab a piece of wood um, let me put the Sosvies back so it doesn't get beat up see if we can't get a little bit of feather stick action here I mean, this thing really feather sticks like a dream. It's, it's a very easy edge on this wood. It really digs in well. I don't know. He's got a knack for grinding. I don't, you know, I don't know if he planned it this way, but he's got a knack for it. 
This thing is a joy to work with. A real joy to work with. Sharp as hell. I'm really impressed with this edge. I really am. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, it offers quite a bit of control, the edge. I like these Scandivex edges. They're very efficient. You see those small ribbons? I'm trying to, I'm trying to feather stick it flat without a ridge. I mean, it's easy to do with a ridge, but when you go on the flat part, it's harder. There we go. There's a flat curl. There's a flat curl. There we go. You see how ribbony and wispy they are? I like the knife. It's a really well-built, rustic-looking, EDC-style bushcraft blade. And it's got that eighth-inch steel that just works well with, you know, medium-sized to smaller knives. Scandy Vex grind, got sharpening choil in there. All right, so good job, Cody. I think you did a great job. Um, I just, the purpose of this video is to show you the knives. Because I tell you, for me, that's 90% of it. I want to see it up close so that I can tell whether I want one or not. Because let's face it, most of us buy knives on sight not by how they work we kind of guess at that most of us good job good job man okay so I'm gonna go right into the Yellowhawk custom outdoors carry options portion of the video like I said I get questions all the time about how to use a tech lock. I, I don't understand it, but some guys don't know how to use a tech lock. So uh, either they don't have them or their tech lock at home is looser than the one that I sent them or whatever. But I'm going to go through all of our carry options because I get those questions as well. You know, I got this sheath dug. How many carry options does it really have? Well, with my sheath systems, I got guys like Mike McGowan out there telling me that he wears it 20 different ways. The ones I've designed into it, plus the ones that he comes up with. You can really mess around with my sheath systems and get all kinds of carries out of them. As long as you got a tabby dangler and a tech lock on the same sheath, that type of thing. All right? So let me get to it. I'm going to show you the first style of carry. This is this style of carry is by far my favorite style. <clears throat> this is the 45 degree cross draw. Now I'm right handed. So basically you pop the lock on the tech lock. That's a lock right there. This is where most guys uh, have a hard time with it that blends in with the sh with the clip that lock you really have to just pull that lock down spread the wings and open it up and there you go it's got a ladder lock system in it where you can move these bars these bars pop out of the ladder lock and you can move them up and down to account for the width of your belt you know this way width of the belt okay I have a one and a quarter inch belt on so here we go all right you just open up the tech lock slide it in clip it there's a 45 degree cross draw right there okay 45 degree cross draw this is by far my favorite style of carry 
if I'm not wearing a backpack, even EDC during the day, because I can take my t-shirt and put it over the knife and it stays there and it's hidden. Now you can see the handle of the knife is up in the air a little bit. It's not doing this, drooping. That's regular 90 degree cross draw carry. I don't like it because I have to reach down here to grab the damn knife. I don't like doing it. So I do the 45 degree, it works very well. Some knives are heavier than others. You just gotta kinda play with it and, and work out the system for yourself. But you can see how that handles up in the air. That sheath is canted downward. Now, you can also wear it as appendix carry. You just slide it on your belt around to the front. Cover it with your shirt and it is concealable. Most knives up to about five inches uh, of blade. But you have, like I said, you have to do that on your own. Figure it out for yourself. 45 degree cross draw. Now my sheaths are designed to be drawn with one hand. They got a thumb ramp. You put your thumb on the thumb ramp, your hand on the handle in the into the combat scallops here. Push on the thumb, pull with your hand. Okay? There it is. It's a fast draw system. You want to take it off? Real easy. Pull the wings apart, pop it off. Now, this tech lock can also be configured straight up and down 90 degree for this style of carry. Okay, 90 degree. I don't really like it, but some guys do. Every once in a while, I get a guy that says, hey, I want it 90 degrees, I don't want it 45. Well, with my sheaths, the majority of my sheaths, you can do four different carries on this, and I'm showing them to you now. Okay, there it is. It sits on the belt like this. Now, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> I'm going to put it on. But you can see what happens, the knife droops. I don't like that. That's why I do the 45 degree thing. It gets that knife handle up in the air, all right? Still an easy draw, no problem. But some guys like that style of carry. So I include it in the sheath. There's also a tabby dangler. This is a tabby dangler. And I can usually put a tabby dangler and a tech lock on the same sheath. So technically, the way I've designed it, you got four styles of carry with the clip. All right. You got 45 degree cross draw. You got this 90 degree. Then you also have uh, mid back carry. And then you also have a 45 degree vertical carry and a regular vertical carry you just flip it this way so you take it off you turn the tech lock you screw it back on and now you got vertical carry or 45 degree vertical carry where it cants this way a little bit for a backhand draw this way okay now I have to build the sheath for those types of, of uh, carries but I can build all styles of carry into the same sheath. You just got to let me know. Generally, you can do it with all my sheaths, but some of them you can't because the client builds the sheath here at Yellowhawk. I just, I just build it. They tell me what they want, and I build it. So I offer recommendations, but in the end, the client is the boss, and he gets what he wants. This is mid-back carry. In order to use this particular sheath with a tabby dangler on it, you have to take the knife out, 
take the whole assembly off. Undo these two screws right here. Take these two screws off. This whole assembly comes off. The whole thing. Sit it to the side. Then you got a sheath that you can wear mid back. So basically you're wearing it like this. And the handle's gonna be up in the air a little bit with this style of carrying. You see how the, the clip is canted? I can't stress this enough this this the cant that I put on the, the belt clip it is a very convenient style of carry that hasn't been around that long I you know a few years when I started offering sheath systems to the civilian public I started doing this style of carry because all my spec ops buddies like that style of carry. They like the fact that it gets that handle up in the air a little bit. So I continued it over into the civilian part of Yellow Hawk Customs. So this is actually mid back carry right here on a right handed sheath. You can also turn this tech lock 90 degrees straight up and down and carry that way but the handle's gonna droop on you. I don't like that. So that's why I do the 45. Next style of carry. Okay, this particular sheath is a tabby dangler with two molly lock clips side by side. One inch, uh, two inches on center, I think these are. Okay. So I can do molly lock clips as well. Generally, I only put one right in the center. This client wanted two. Um, but generally, I do find that one is sufficient. A little bit of tooling on the leather there. So he can put this on a molly, on a PAL system. You can even put this on your belt. These things will go through a belt and you clip it to your belt if you want. I've seen guys do it. Here's another style of carry. This is called Baldrick carry. And when I do a Baldrick carry sheath, I put two D rings on it. One up here and one up on the front here. So the front one and the tabby dangler D ring doubles as a baldric ring. So you can clip in this way and wear it this way. This is my preferred way of carrying baldric style. I think it's very comfortable. It doesn't swing around as much. Or, you can undo both clips, like this, and clip them both into here. Let's see if I can keep it from being all twisted up. The sling is a beach and tactical sling from the Prepper's Bunker, Jacob Peterson. All right? You can wear it this way as well. Okay? You can wear it like that. Or, uh, how else can you wear it? I don't know. This way. This is how most guys wear them, like this. And they just, they just grab the sheath when they want to wear it vertically, baldric. They grab the sheath and pull the knife that way. A lot of guys like it because they can swing it out of the way, you know. But you can do that with the horizontal as well. 
I don't know, it's just a personal preference for me. I like the horizontal. It just seems to be more stable. This thing will fold back, the tabby dangler port, or you can take it off. You can undo the leather part. Just take the screws off and take it off. I just swing it out of the way like that. Okay? There's Baldrick carry. This is how I carry a big knife when I got a backpack on, generally. There's that. Then we got this style of carry. This is called a leg drop. And I call it a tabby leg drop. All it is, is a piece of leather, a leather loop, connected to my tab, just like the tabby dangler, but there's no D-ring. I hook, I bolt the nine ounce oil and wax impregnated hide straight to the sheath with a shore up plate. This is extremely strong, extremely strong. It's, I don't know, overkill. That's what it is, it's overkill. It's bomb proof. I gotta make them that way because I was always tired of breaking shit out in the bush. I would always break something because it wasn't tough enough. So, here you go. Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors Kydex Sheath Systems. This is that single Molly Lock clip. And this seems to work real well on the PAL systems on the packs. You just flip it open. You pull this thing open right here. This guy right here. Pull these two up. Pull it open. Slip it through your Molly webbing, your PAL's webbing. And then get to the bottom and clip it shut. And it's on there for good it, to stay. But this is called a tabby leg drop. Works real well. I, can, I don't have one out here, but I can also do a whole assembly that bolts right here that will hold a leather uh, leg drop or a dangler. I can do it that way as well. But you can't put any other clip on the sheath if I do it that way. That's why I developed the Tabby Dangler and it works great. This is the uh, Topps Dart. Topps Dart. I like this knife. I didn't show you the tech lock in vertical position. I don't, I don't think I should have to. It's self-explanatory. You just, you just take the tech lock off, turn the knife with, this way, and put the tech lock on that way. And it's in vertical position. You can also put it in that 45 vertical where you can do a, um, a backhand uh, draw as well. And it, talk to Mike McGowan, because he's come up with all kinds of ways to carry this sheath system. All right, here's one right here. This is a Baldrick system for a Jessica X we just finished. Baldrick system. Full-size compass works real well. The blade does not hurt it. The blade does not hurt it. In order to use the compass, you just take the blade out. All these, uh, all this hardware is stainless steel, so it doesn't mess up the compass. All right, guys. That's it for this video. So, thanks for watching. This is Doug Wilson, Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors. I'll see you on the next one.